the upper portion of the spillway is getting the the um, leveling concrete as well up to the top of the farms to form the base of the spillway in which they're going to attach the structural concrete but they've done it in in two sections left and right and left the center section open so they can run the equipment up and down and fill the areas with leveling concrete so a little interesting and different process in the, than what they've done here on the lower spillway. I don't know if it's because the slope is less up there and they can run the equipment like that or what the reasoning is, but that, that should be a fairly fast way of getting her done. Just to the right is the roller compacted concrete plant where the concrete is chilled using the liquid nitrogen and ice to keep it at the perfect temperature for for rolling about 55 to 60 degrees that's the fine pile of crushed rock you see there that's the aggregate that gives the roller compacted concrete its darker color and that fine aggregate is coming from the spoil piles over here which is the remains of Croyle Canyon that they've dredged out of the diversion pool in fact they're still dredging to this day the diversion pool the big diffuser blocks down here at the bottom of the spillway are going to remain in place and get repaired, I think, next year. They'll leave them all battle damaged for this season. Croyle Canyon, we barely knew ya. It's gone to the rock crusher. A huge difference in appearance from just a few short months ago. Primarily filled in for access to the spillway. And all that dirt that's filled into the Croyle Canyon area is going to stay in there through this season. They're not going to clean it out if in the event the spillway needs to spill over 100,000 CFS and some of that water spills over the side of the spillway. The plan was to use the Croyle Canyon to let that water exit. If that's the case, it's going to blow dirt and debris back into the diversion pool. Way up there on the left side of the spillway from this vantage point is the work being done on the emergency spillway, including the secant wall. And we'll look at a bunch of DWR videos and explain what's going on there. The secant wall, of course, get back in there. The secant wall, of course, to prevent further erosion from this point back towards the emergency spillway. And off to my right here, of course, is the face of Oroville Dam. Lo and behold, no green spot. But from this vantage point, you can't really see what's going on deep down in the plunge pool. So let's hop in the mighty Luscombe and, and see what it looks like from the air.